It's Thursday night again, and that can mean only one thing. Time for a midweek bonanza. Oh. I think we're gonna have out. Well, we're here, we're here today on a tiny, tiny pond. But we've seen some decent fish, haven't we, Stu? Decent fish, yeah. We've been on a, a few times now, haven't we? A couple of times trying to get them off the top. And while we've been here, we've spotted a couple of decent fish at least, haven't we? Chunkies. Nice big, nice big common you spotted, didn't you? And a big mirror. And a big mirror, so... And there's a nice ghost in there, isn't there? Yeah, what we've seen. And apparently there's a catfish as well, but I don't know for sure. Is there supposed to be a catfish here? Yeah, it's supposed to be an albino one. Is there? A bird. A bird. Oh, well, I wish I'd have knew that. <laughs> I might put some donkey chokers on there. Yeah, I think, I think it's double, but I don't know. So we've come on, we've been on about an hour fishing. We've been absolutely smashed by the ducks, haven't we? Oh, horrendous. You got done, and now I was laughing, and now they just wiped me out. For the, um... I've got one good rod, though. I've got one rod what's not been touched on the left-hand side, and my right-hand rod's been absolutely cleared out by them, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. Both mine have. So I'm going to have to redo my, my um, bobbins are everywhere where ducks or coots have had them. So, I'm going to have to redo all my rods in a minute. Just wait for a bugger off. They're still diving there, so can't be bothered doing it yet. Graham's got about 12 <laughs> round is. I'm clear at the moment, but mine has been done. So, yeah. Um, Stu's dead confident. I'm not. I fished this about three times last year overnight, and I had one 14 pound carp out. So, I did pretty crap. I so. came on my own and done a surface session and just couldn't get them on, on the feed at all. Dead spooky aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely. They've come on before, before, got here before me, flicked a couple of dog biscuits and they just buggered off. As soon as you throw, yeah, what even just one single pellet over the top of them from distance, they, uh, they just spook off. Couldn't smash it, man. Go to a completely other side of the lake. Yeah, so I'm not too hopeful, but I at least we won't be awake all night with catfish again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> toasty. That would be horrible. Oh, you burnt it, Stu. Burnt it. I'm fishing either side of that channel there. Um, where them ducks and they're diving absolutely wiped me out, they have. Rod's been going again. They've picked me up I don't know how many times. So, yeah, so I'm, that's where I'm fishing, either side of that channel and Stu's on the right of me, over there. And um, I'm going to show you what he's fishing. And Stu is on this swim to my right, he's got one in that overhanging willow touching the water, I think it's a willow anyway, touching the water, he's got his left one there and his right one is on the edge of that tree there. That's the one that's been getting completely wiped out. Uh, we've seen a load of carp over there before. So yeah, so that's where we've kind of, kind of spread the rods out a bit. The only place we've not got one really is on the left hand side of the left island, but we, uh, we wanted to fish close-ish to each other, so we couldn't really do it. But there's um, definitely a fish under there. I've just seen a back of one or something come out right near the island. So they are there. Um, it's just a bit warm, I think. Hopefully they'll get their heads down soon. And I'm going to redo my rods and have something to eat. Well, Stu, coming up to bite time now, Murtep. Coming up to bite time. It's all four rods redone. All right, yeah. the spots. The um, diving ducks have buggered off and left us alone. <laughs> it has gone nine o'clock like, hasn't it? It's, it's 20 past nine. 20 past. It's like a milk pond now, isn't it? Mm. All wind's gone, everything. So... We did. Arguing over who was going in what swim before because <laughs> one swim was further downwind and we said the wind will uh, bug it off for you. But it was right. Yeah. It's probably been pointless fishing up to now, hasn't it, with um, the ducks? Yeah. Absolutely pointless. I don't know, one of my rods has been good all night, but yeah, true. nothing's happened to it. So. Yeah. There's a bit of 
activity on the water now, isn't it? You know? Yeah. I can do that. I should have had a quick walk around before I got my rods in and see if the fish are on top still. Yeah, I don't think it will be now. No, I don't. Look, it's like a absolutely still now. How many carp do you think we've seen in ASG over the last couple of sessions when we've been on the top like? Got to be 25, haven't they? You reckon 20, 25 carp? Yeah. Some big ones as well. Oh no, there's, I've seen a couple of nice ones, haven't we? Yeah. A couple of nice ones. You'd think a water this size, you'd pull one out, wouldn't you? Yeah. I know what. I know, yeah. Do you know what's mad? <laughs> We've only seen two bream. Yeah, the same two together all the time. Together, yeah, yeah, yeah we have. So we have. That's good that you're not going to get breamed out. No, I did have, when I fished here last year, I did have a couple of tench. Did you? Yeah. Saying that, I'd probably take a bream now. <laughs> I'd take a tench. I don't, I don't, never mind catching tench. Unless it's three o'clock in the morning. Take a duck now? No, I'll have a duck. Out for a duck? No. You're not like a duck now. <laughs> no, no. Unless it's some pancakes. <laughs> no, it's in sauce. <laughs> beautiful now isn't it it's lovely Thank lovely you. well i think we're going to give it about half an hour three four three quarters an hour and then retire to the um, drawing room get the sack yeah definitely I'll tell you what i like about this place you don't get any runs yeah that, <laughs> so you can get yeah you don't get any runs like six runs for catfish and stuff yeah but all the fry bouncing out tells you that there's a perch patrolling you know what i mean i wouldn't mind getting in here with a, I know, with a little maggot feeder or yeah a prawn or something I did try last year and got some um, plenty of roach. I was only messing around a bit of sweet corn. Is it? Yeah. Some nice roach as well. It's a nice one. Well, I wouldn't mind trying for the perch, like you say. There's a, I think there's some decent ones in here. Corns at website, like. We'll definitely have to do it. Yeah. You can't beat a um, light rod, a little maggot feeder. Yeah. Oh god, I was going to have another brew, but I'll end up having coffee out and then we'll be able to get sleep, so I'm not having another brew now. Can't be bothered. Right, I mean, we'll give you 45 minutes and then we're going to bed, so Tell we'll me see. I'm, I'm still not thinking, I'm still not thinking you, we'll get one. You're not confident? No. I am. I'm I know you are. for your swim there. I'm not. I am. I think if you come... <laughs> You're just going to disagree with everything. <laughs> No, <laughs> I think whatever comes through that channel you're having because you're on the left hand side of the channel and the right hand side of the channel and I actually wanted the right hand side of the channel but you wouldn't let me. No you never. You took them both. You can't fish it from over there, it's really impossible. I'll find a way, wouldn't I? Yeah. Well actually I wanted to fish the left hand side, the left, left hand island but you wouldn't let me. I don't remember. <laughs> right, let, let's see if we get out. Yeah. I don't think so, Stu does. I do. So we'll see, we'll see. We've got to be off early in the morning. I you're blank, but I'll have one or two in the night. Right, okay. That, catch you later. See ya. Half eleven ish. Stu's rod's gone. Just heard him, he didn't call me, but I heard him because he's still awake. Oh, it's the carp as well, Stu. Oh, he's done it. Come on, excuse me. <laughs> it's scrapping well near the margin. Is it only half eleven? What? Is it only half eleven? Something like that, yeah. I'm not going to sleep then. Most common. Get in, lad. Get in. Stu there with his catch. It's half twelve, not half eleven. Half twelve. Yeah, half twelve it was, yeah. <laughs> Don't know where I got half eleven from. Lovely, um, lovely common there. First carp of the season for me because I've been fishing for cats, haven't I? Yeah. So I've not had a carp yet. Hey, you're right though, Stu. You, I have you got one. <laughs> on my local water, but. I didn't no. think you was going to get one, or we wasn't going to get one. No. But no, you smashed it. Superb. Nice fish, actually, isn't it? It's in good neck. Get it back. 
Or big gob. <laughs> Who you are looking at? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Okay, happy old soul then. <laughs> oh, it swam out of an hole in me. <laughs> By the way, I did get my mum to fix that net. <laughs> oh, yeah, done yeah. machine, yeah. That is funny, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that water is like a bath. Honestly, that water is so warm. Fine stew. Yes. <laughs> nice one. Morning. It's half past five. Just about to get up anyway with my alarm. And my rod's gone. <laughs> and I've got a tiny little tension. <laughs> Knew it wasn't a carp straight away, but there you go. Uh, yeah, show you that. Just, just redo my rods now. Or rod. Just got my solid bag to put back on now. Um, I'm just going to put that back out in the channel, right hand rod. So I'll put that in there, put a brew on, because we've got to be off in an hour and a half, something like that. Two hours max, hour and a half. So, yeah. Uh, go and sort that rod out now. Stew's still well away, like he always is. Never known someone sleep so good fishing, eh? Uh, right, sort this rod out. And um, left one's done nothing, not had a bleep on it. Never mind. I'm not going to get this little fish out, but I'll just show you. I'm going to let it go. Um, little tench, about two and a half pounds or something like that. Not the same stamp as the veil, but there you go. Well, no, it's not even two and a half pounds. Right. There we are, it's gone. Oh, there he is. Gone now. Well, Stu. Almost time to pack up. Well, it is time to pack up, isn't it? We're packing up. Well, we are, yeah. About oh, 20 minutes, I'm off ski. Oh. What do you reckon? Would you come again? Yeah, I would. Um, I'll probably fish you over the back end just to see how the land Just lies. to try it. Yeah, just to, to get used to it there. But yeah, I don't think I'd do anything different. Yeah, uh, you've had a fish, mate. Yeah. Better than I thought he was going to do. Not you, but us. Yeah. So you better have had a tank. Oh, we're going to blank, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. And I learnt a lesson. <laughs> a very, very valuable <laughs> lesson. To check that you put his on your Ronnie rig when you bring it in, when you recast it. I went back to sleep and I went back to bed and then um, had a thought over my head thinking, did, was the putty on that rig? Oh, wasn't there? I thought, yeah, he is, this putty on it. I thought I need to check, reeled it in, there was no putty on it. <laughs> Throw me hot length of stuff in the air like that. So a zig Ronnie. Yeah, I'm glad I did. A Zonny. I think, Stu, I think I'm not going to use solid bags next time to keep the tench away. And uh, we're going to have a little feeder session next time with worm and stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely that, yeah. Just for try for the perch and see what's in here, because we've seen quite a few fry scattering, haven't we? Yeah. So we fancy going for the perch. I've been on here three times now. Two times floater fishing and once during the night. And um, all three times I've seen all the fry diving out. Yeah, I've seen it this morning. Scattered. So I'll go have a dabble for them, they till about, till they get to like half nine and then put me other car rod out. I think. Definitely. But hey, at least we've got work today. Oh yes, oh yes, can't wait. Not all doom and gloom, eh? <laughs> work. Yeah, can't wait. Right, looks like it's we're not going to catch hotels, so see you next time on the next midweek bonanza. See you later. Bye.